152 pounds. Jake Powell. We have Joaquin Komar from Twinsburg. Who won a 3-1 thriller and sudden victory to get here. David Abad of Cleveland State Ignatius is his opponent, defending state champion. 11-5 decision in semis. From Hunting Valley University School with a 40 Komar comes in with a record of 31 and 2. Habit is 28 and 3. Both wrestlers are seniors. Komar in the bright yellow wrestling shoes. From Twinsburg. A two-time state placer with a 31 and Komar in the white and gold trim of St. Ignatius. Ignatius already has one champion tonight in Jerome Robinson. St. Ignatius with a 28 and 3 record. Three-time state placer, returning state champion, senior David Habit. Habit won it at 52 last year and is one of the better wrestlers across the country too. Komar, great athlete, is the rare three-sport athlete as a wrestler. Also, a football player and state champion caliber track and field athlete. We always like to see wrestlers proving their athleticism across the board. Komar does just that, but he has a tall order here. Like I said, Habat, Habit, defending state champion, top 10 nationally at 152. this morning. Komar potentially wasn't even going to go out for wrestling this year. Going to choose to take time off between football and track. I bet he's glad he's has in on a shot there, but Habit too strong, breaks grip. I bet he's glad he came out for the team as he finds himself in state finals. Habit has that gear problem. Three Velcro's up and we go here. Almost a minute down here in the first period. No score. Komar takes a shot from way out. Habit sprawls, no problem, nothing doing. Now Habit's in kind of a short offense situation as he has the elbow. Well, not a whole lot here early in the first, still kind of in that feeling out period. Habit tries to shoot through unders. Could bite him. Komar had a big win earlier here over freshman sensation Dominique Abinader of Eds. Abinader, I know, has been getting a lot of hype across the state. Komar dispatched of him rather easily in a 10-6 win. Habit is been untested thus far, winning 11-5, 12-2, and 13-6. I'm sorry, 18, 18-3. Old eyes can't see, I guess. 18-3 win Tech Fallen is first, so Habit really dominated his way through the bracket. Homar has been in a couple close ones. We said won an instant classic last night just to get here. It should be available on Flow Wrestling. I, I had the pleasure of calling that last night as well. As we end the first period, no score between Joaquin Komar and David Habit. Habit goes down to start the second. See if he can strike first blood. Komar doesn't even attempt to ride. He'll let him go. Komar in on a single. Good shot. See if he can suck in and finish. Tries to turn the corner. Nothing yet. That looks like two to me, but still doesn't have anything. He's got to pop his head. There it is. Two points. Joaquin Komar, first offensive points here at 152 pounds, goes up 2-1 to one over defending state champion David Habit. He said, we'll see how Habit responds to being tested. He's not been in a close one yet here in Columbus. 141 left, Komar covers. Habit escapes pretty easily. Loses his hip, but now he's got some ground to make up as Komar has choice in the third. So has the opportunity to escape and take a 3-2 lead. Habit trying to shoot, but can't get through that front line of Komar. 
I said it earlier for all you young wrestlers watching, hand fighting is so important. If you can control ties, it's you that's going to dictate offensively. Komar's been able to do that so far. We got another great shot. Komar, Komar takes that shot from about 10 feet away. Mick covers so much ground shooting that low single. I don't think Habit even thought he had to defend from that far out. And all of a sudden he finds himself bellying out and down 4 to 2. As Komar's hair cover is coming undone, he's going to try and slide it over. <laughs> Great shot there from Komar. See that Oklahoma State style low single from way out. Which if you can hit that, it's virtually impossible to defend. Komar's gonna go optional start. He's looked great on his feet so far in the second. Might as well stay there. Now 4-3 lead, under a minute to go here in the second period. Joaquin Komar leads defending state champ David Habit, 4-3. They go out of bounds. Both these wrestlers are seniors. This is their last, last chance here at Columbus. Now it's Habit who's in a short offense situation. 30 seconds left. Habit tries a high single. Komar backs up and backs out of it. Now pops his head out of the tie. That come down in front of us. Go out of bounds. 4 to 3, 21 seconds to go. Joaquin Komar of Twinsburg leads David Habit of St. Ignatius. 4 to 3. Now 15 to go. Komar's got a 2 on 1 wrist tie. Joaquin Komar has looked great here in the second period. Talked about his athleticism, and I don't. Certainly on display on that low single. Just in terms of clean shots and finishes, one of the best I've seen this weekend. Komar is going to keep keep his braids covers, having trouble with that head cover. Has choice. Takes down to start the third. It's gonna cut him immediately, not even try and ride. And he now trails five to three. Probably a good decision to have it rather than waste some of his time just to give up this game. Give himself the full two minutes to try and score a takedown. Habits certainly, I think, has a muscular advantage on Komar. He's more of the short, stocky build. Komar long and lean. And that kind of muscle it up could work one of two ways. Either, either there's a strength advantage and he's really pushing Komar and can wear him down. The flip side, of course, is it takes a lot, a lot of oxygen pump into those big muscles. We'll see how his gas tank here is in the third. Tries to ankle pick off the whistle. Komar sprawls back. Komar! Now trying to go behind, just shucks through a bad shot. Joaquin Komar scores another two points. He'll go up seven to three. Habit escapes to make it seven four. Joaquin Komar really dominating a state champion here. Komar again. We're gonna tape this head cover on. I think that might be the first time I've seen this. What I have to say is, if you're comfortable, I think the last thing Komar wants to do is throw that thing off. He scored three takedowns with it already. Don't mess with success. Certainly every wrestler has their cork that very won't be one of Komar's. As he taking it to state champ David Habit, who's breathing heavy now. Komar looks like he's still warming up. Constant 
instant motion from Tomar. This has been an impressive display for Joaquin here. As I'd have to check my facts, but he could be one of the first Twinsburg wrestlers to win a state title. Obviously, as a Pennsylvania native, I'm going to claim I'm going to claim no no expertise in the state of Ohio, but I know Twinsburg is hardly the power Ignatius is. Habit now in on his first real good shot. He's got 30 seconds to go. Tries to lift Komar. I think smartly bellies out now at 7-6. Habit cuts him now 8-6. Another takedown sends us to overtime. Habit high crotch. Komar's got to work the edge. He does out of bounds. 17 seconds to go. David Habit trying to defend his state title. Down two points here. 10 to go. Habit in on a in on a good shot, trying to convert. Komar rolls. Funk situation. He's got five seconds to go. If Komar can hold on, he's gonna upset state champion David Habit. He does. Joaquin Komar wins the state championship here at 152. Komar gets his hand raised. Huge upset here in Division One. As Komar knocks off nationally ranked David Abbott. Shakes the hands of the Ignatius coaches and now is gonna join his coaches in celebration of his 152 pound big school state title here in Columbus, Ohio. Congratulations, Congratulations. Joaquin Komar wrestled a spectacular match in pulling the upset.